Motortown Behind the Wheel. What an awful name for a game, but is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Enjoy realistic driving in the urban world. Relaxing cargo deliveries or driving buses and taxis will give you enough money to buy new cars and parts. You can test your driving skills at the racetrack. It's all about pure driving pleasure. Now, if you're the kind of gamer that's looked at the graphics of this and just kind of dis dismissed the whole game or switched even the video off, then you're not a proper, proper gamer because a proper gamer isn't that bothered about the graphics. They're more bothered about the gameplay. And this game absolutely oozes gameplay. It re for, and it's early access. And guys, it's £11. Let me just tell you what this game is as is, is, is short as I can. Basically, it's a bit of a life life simulator. You have a house. You have an avatar that can walk about and can get in vehicles. It can strap cargo to vehicles, you know, tie it down on the back of a lorry. It can drive lorries, taxis, buses, pickup trucks, semis, big box wagons, flatbeds, sports cars, police vehicles, and there's a whole load more coming. You can drive all of those things in this game. You can rent most of them, or you can buy them from an actual garage. You can go and have a coffee and sit down and watch the world go by. It's multiplayer. You can join servers where there's up to 10 other players playing the game. You have a job in this game. You might be an ambulance driver. You might be a haulage guy. You might be a taxi driver. You might just drive a, a, a standard bus. You might do a school bus run. You might even be a police officer. There are so many things that you can do. And the, the police officers aren't that realistic, I have to say. Um, well, certainly not by the standards of the British police. Um, for example, in this game, the police drive police cars around and they're very visible. And if somebody's doing something wrong, like a criminal, they'll nick them, they'll arrest them. Whereas the reality is the police sit in the police station munching donuts, monitoring Twitter for people whose feelings have got hurt. I had to see, I had to get that in, shut up. But no, the police in this game, if you can, I haven't unlocked the police yet, because the way the game works is this. You, every time you drive, you're leveling up your driving. You're driving, you start off at level one and it just continues to level up the more you drive. It doesn't matter what you drive, you will always be leveling that up with XP. If you then start driving a sort of a, a career in delivery vehicles, you'll start off at a basic delivery thing, like a little van, and you'll start leveling up your delivery XP, which again starts at one. If you're driving uh, a race car, you will again start off with a shitty little one. And as, as you're starting to do better and better at the races and the time attacks, you'll start leveling up your racing ability, which will eventually allow you to become a policeman. If you're doing, say, a taxi run, you will start leveling up sort of public service vehicle skills. And eventually you can drive buses and things like that. That's how the game works. You have to start off as a nobody, but as you level up, you will be able to unlock bigger and better vehicles of that class. And you also get paid for doing all of these things. That's crucial. You get a wage. Now, if you can't afford to buy a, a van because you, you start off with no money, you pretty much work for a company that is, say, a haulage company. And every job you do, it's like a franchise. Um, you take the money, but you have to pay a cut to the people that own the lorry. So obviously, you want to be saving up uh, as soon as possible to be able to buy your own vehicles, because then there's no middleman that you have to pay. All the profits go to yourself, and profits allow you to buy better houses and better areas, better vehicles, and things like that. That's what the game's about. Now, with it being in early access, um, there's not a great deal to buy. There's a few different types of cars. There's a Lamborghini I've seen, a Ford Focus, a Supra. I think there's a Porsche as well. There's a, a, a few different types of trucks and lorries and things like that. And there's houses dotted all over the map. The map's reasonably big. It's, it could be a lot bigger, but it's pretty reasonable for the game that it, the size of the game that there is at the minute. But you know what the absolute best thing about this game is? The actual driving. The driving in this game is second to none, guys. In fact, I'll say this. And you can quote me on this. Um, I've never driven a game better than this with a controller. Out of all of the games that I've driven in my 30 odd years as a gamer, this is the best with a controller, hands down. There's nothing else better than this. And I've driven some really good games like Grid, which was good with a controller, but this is just phenomenal. I mean, driving a lorry, which the physics react as well, especially when you've got a, a lot of weight in. Uh, driving a lorry, even in cockpit mode there's loads of different camera angles 
you can drive it with a controller staying on your side of the road as well it's just fantastic absolutely fantastic and, and bear in mind when you're driving you've got indicators headlights horn different driving modes as well there's even an autopilot and you've got to drive properly or the pay, police will uh the, if they see you they can pull you over and legit find you so if you're on a multiplayer server and i've been on one of quite a few times and there's a, a guy who's a policeman and they're following you you better drive all right because if he wants to he can nick if you start swerving around the place and if you clip another car or you're just being a prick then the, the lights will come on pull over find such an immersive game guys absolutely amazing i mean this game for what it is 11 pound guys it's got more features than forza guys <laughs> for, for 11 pound it's just it's crazy i wish it did look better and there's a few things that it needs fixing um the ai is a bit dodgy at junctions with its priorities and it can often cause havoc at a, at a junction and um, the map needs to be a bit bigger i think and it needs to have more content in the map but it's early access that's going to come anyway as a natural uh, form of the evolution of this game things like that for example dedicated ser servers are coming soon i've just been reading about that that's going to be fantastic when we get dedicated servers because you can just keep your game running all the time and have if you've, if you've got a decent amount of community coming in you'll just have a, a little thriving uh, community going on i would like to see more players maybe 30 or 40 players allowed in that would be fantastic as well so more content in the map sort of like a town center more shops to go into maybe shops where you can buy stuff that you might be able to do this now but i haven't found any where you can change your clothing that you can in test drive unlimited i have a feeling that the developer of this game it's one person that's doing this I don't know if it's a man or a woman one person is, is making this game and i guarantee that they are huge fans of test drive unlimited you can just see the influences of test drive unlimited all over this game uh, so yeah that, that kind of stick me neck out on that and say that that's where the influence of this game's come from it certainly scratched my test drive unlimited itch i think this is miles better than forza could ever be this is one of the best driving games i've played for immersion and potential now at the minute it does get a little bit boring just running a haulage company that's what i'm doing at the minute i'm trying to save up for a big box uh, uh lorry uh, that I can have of, of my own so I can get the maximum profits and so I'm doing the similar runs up this mountain pass which gets a bit boring but there is an autopilot mode if you just want to chill out for example my physiotherapist rang us today and I was in the middle of a run so I just quickly hit autopilot and I was able to um, answer the phone and, and deal with all of that whilst not having to park up and lose anything so the game actually plays itself up to a point but bear in mind it, on autopilot um, it uses more fuel it drives slower and it can crash so it's it's not to be played in auto what, what would be the point but it's a great thing if, if the phone rings or the someone comes to the door you just i think it's left bumper and y then away you go uh, to do whatever you want to do it's it's just a bloody good game this these are the little gems that i love on this channel and this is why indie is just so much better than triple a it just really is imagine if a triple a developer had made a game like this with triple a graphics it would be one of the best games ever made well it would be in my eyes anyway but i just happened to watch a video of this uh just a random video and it was some gen z gamer playing it and all they did was piss about driving it just being an ass just driving across smashing into buses and just driving across the grass being a complete prick uh, driving driving the car around absolutely zero interest in the immersive the immersive factors of this game the, the things that make the game great so i think this kind of stuff's going to be lost on a lot of the kind of gamers that you see today uh, they just wouldn't have the patience to drive a class one articulated lorry with a, a, a trailer full of uh, parts up a mountain pass uh, purely to get a really good payday at the end of it they'd go to one of these cheat sites and just try to download some hacks to get them everything straight away because they have no idea what immersion's all about you have to when you're playing these games sort of pretend that this is what you're doing you have to get into the role that you're playing in this game uh, if you're driving a lorry you have to get into that role you know if you see another player coming along the other way give them if they're in a lorry give them a little headlight flash you know all that kind of stuff it's about immersion and just getting lost in a in a world because you know the real world's full of shite at the minute it's just a travesty that all the talent seems to be with indie at the minute and um that's why i i mainly play indie games because they're just so much better so there you go guys it may have a, 
an, an odd name this but what a what a great uh game this is and if by the way just one thing i don't know if i've mentioned it already but it has great wheel support as well supports all the way. my wheels buggered and my arm is still not good enough to use a, a, a wheel so i couldn't use a wheel with it anyway at the minute but apparently the wheel support in this game is brilliant as well so and, and keyboard controls work as well so there you go if you're into open world driving games and you want to play it with your friends and get some immersion going this is definitely a game you should consider 